All right, looks like it's raining uh, Pixel Experience ROMs on our channel on Telegram everywhere because we have two builds available for the K20 Pro and one build available for the Poco X3 Pro, also known as YU and Bima. Today is the first look at the latest Pixel Experience build of Poco X3 Pro. Now, this is unofficial and I've lost count how many developers are working on this, which is a good thing. It'll make sure that this ROM becomes official even sooner. But today is the first look at Pixel Experience and Official's latest build for the Poco X3 Pro. And before we get into that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please check the description. You have options to donate to us. You can join the channel membership to get exclusive content access. And if you want to chat with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,000 to 1,200 people there. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Pixel Experience Unofficial Maintainer is Clyde. Okay, I don't want to mispronounce that. That's the maintainer. Poco X3 Pro YO and Vima Android version 12 updated on the 24th of November 2021. The download link is there. You can buy him a coffee. He's doing a great job. So initial Android 12 release, November security patch, added Google Camera Go, add NFC quick setting style, add screen refresh rate preferences. That's good. I just said it in one of my previous videos for the K20 Pro that you all should add screen refresh rate option over here. Add screenshot with three fingers, reduced screen capture display time to two seconds, align initial margin of search action bar, protect sensitive info about device, update parts with Android 12 interface, beta build OSS based includes GApps firmware 12.0.4 or later, safety net should be passed. Right. Now, that's everything that the developer has to say and our perspective is what matters right now. Now, I'll tell you this. Uh, Initially, I did say that for the Mi 11X, the custom ROMs that are coming, especially based on Android 12, they are butter smooth at 120Hz. But I'll tell you what, Poco X3 Pro has started getting there. Because this particular ROM, I don't know what he has done with it. I'm not gamed on it yet. I've ran benchmarks and they look okay. They look decent. They are nothing through the roof, right? So, but I'll tell you this, just, just look at the UI. It really matters a lot for me because not everyone is a gamer, right? When when you install a custom ROM on a phone, the UI is the part where in, with which you'll be interacting the most. And if that is running butter smooth, your experience will be even better. And trust me, for me, that has been excellent, top-notch, splendid as far as the smoothness is concerned. No matter where you go in the UI, although if you actually go to display over here, I have set it to 120 hertz mode always. That means you will get a little less battery life over here. As you can see, it is always, you know, stuck to 120 hertz. But that's okay, as I've said in the past, that this particular device comes with a 5160 milliamp hour cell. That's a huge battery, mind you. And if you have that size of a battery, why not use always 120 hertz and get the best smoothness that you can, right? So let's, let's see over here what we have. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, it says, welcome to your new Pixel. You have this very, very bloom of wallpaper looking very beautiful. You have some icons at the bottom. Search bar, there is a Google search bar with assistant and Google lens. Now you can invoke it from the sides. And the moment you swipe to the left, you have this beautiful Google feed, which works really, really smooth. Now I'll tell you this, between the K20 Pro, between the Poco X3 Pro and between the Mi 11X, I can definitely feel the smoothness, especially between 60 and 120. Yes, understandable. But when you have two devices which are running 120 Hertz, and their processor like marginally different, like 860 and 870, you will not call a generation gap. But yeah, they are different, but not that much. So the smoothness in Poco X3 Pro is excellent, but it is better on the Mi 11X. We are yet to get that particular smoothness on this device, but looking at the way these guys are going, I'm pretty sure they will get there soon. So if you swipe from the top to bottom, you have your usual quick tiles, which includes your camera, mic, and location quick tiles. Now, important aspect for custom ROMs based on Android 12 for the Poco X3 Pro, screen recording, internal and external audio, start. Three, two, one, go. Let's see if we have stutteriness. Uh, well, at least while it is recording, we don't have any stutter. The UI is working up. Oh, wait. Yeah, it started to stutter just when I thought that. Yeah, I think you can you can make it out on the screen, right? Although I'm recording at 4K 25p. Uh, 
you can make okay hold on you know what okay i'll tell you what remember in my last two or three videos i've said that whenever i go to settings from the quick tiles over here it it has this sort of jittery animation this rom has that when recording the screen because see let's see open settings from here there you go no it's stuttering the recording is stuttering uh, i really hope they can fix it i mean you can always use a third party screen recorder but yes the recording is stuttering and that's not a great experience let's see how the recording has come out to be honest The recording looks fine to me. I don't know. It's probably the UI that stutters. But either ways, while recording the UI stutters or after recording the video stutters, it's not good. So I really hope they will fix it. So if you go to the edit menu over here, you will see that you have all the basic options available. These are additional options from Franco Kernel Manager and stuff. So ignore that. So you have your privacy trials. You have your quick, uh, you know, screencast, auto rotate, and all those things. And these things are working absolutely okay, right? Now one thing to note over here: the calling. the you know basic functionalities like wifi calling and stuff is working absolutely fine texting network strength and all is not a problem although i don't have a sim card in there right now i did have a sim card in there this morning and i made a couple of calls it was working absolutely fine right now the moment you go to the app drawer of this particular rom you will see that this rom boots very very basic very very you know deep bloated that's what pixel experience is it does come with google camera go which raises your bar of expectations when it comes to you know capturing photos using a custom rom so that's something good now let's actually go to settings over here let's go to about phone and uh, let's say let's go to android 12 Android 12, show me the Easter egg. See here, there you go, working absolutely fine. The kernel is a Perf Plus kernel. I really don't know what they have exactly done when they say Perf Plus kernel. You have November security patch and all the other goodies working absolutely fine. So you have network and internet connected devices, apps, notifications. So if you go to battery, you do have optimization profiles. Now I think that is a part of the source code for. pixel experience but there is one small bug though these optimization profiles keep getting reverted to no optimization because i remember when i ran the benchmarks right when i ran the benchmarks well these were set to performance so i don't know why that keeps happening developer if you are watching you might want to look into this and if you talk about the battery usage over here you have your android 12 styled battery usage indicators now and as you can see the battery backup is pretty decent even on always 120 hertz the battery backup is decent and the charging speeds are okay they are not quite 33 watt right there but they are decent they are pretty fine you know accu battery is not captured much because i'm not charged this device much apart from this if you talk about safety net it passes just fine it will fail right now because i have rooted this device for you know restoring the backup and stuff so let's actually go to google photos real quick and let me show you the screenshots that i captured all right so let's see here wide on l1 passes out of the box safety net passes and play store is certified as well so that's a good thing so your banking applications your drm info and stuff is taken care of you should not have any problems there now let's quickly go ahead and talk about uh, you know the benchmark numbers because i did run two cpu throttle test one of them was 83% with 168 526 gips and one was 85% with 168 152 So nothing through the roof, nothing out of the world. Pretty decent scores, but the ROM is running really, really butter smooth. I will definitely tell you that. The Geekbench score is 763 single core and 2485 multi core. Again, low multi core score there. And if you talk about the N22 benchmark over here, 578,082. So the N22 benchmark is pretty much on the spot. No problem there. 580 is usually where this device scores, and good ROMs take it to 600,000. So all in all, Pixel Experience Android 12 is worth a try. It is you know butter smooth. Monet UI is doing its job. I've stopped showing a lot of Monet UI features because it's become very common now. And it sounds redundant to show you, you know, monitor your monitor your working monitor your in each and every video. So yeah, you know, even your Android 12 widgets, they are working absolutely fine. I mean, I can go ahead and increase my watch time if I want to make videos long, but that's not what PhoneOps is about, right? We give you information that matters to you, and that's what we are doing. 
Pixel Experience Plus, unofficial good work by the developer. I don't know how it will game. I might try a gaming review. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.